Good morning to you guys. That's right. I mean, this morning, it's not that crazy heat that we're going to soon know so well this summer, but that's why the department is really trying to get ahead of the game and warn folks about this so that way they can stock up on some bug spray and also just keep some other things in mind. Uh, they have considered this uh, wetter than normal winter with, you know, all the rain and even some snow in some parts of the state. Um, so combining that with the valley's hot temperatures, I mean, this can really become a mosquito hotbed for breeding, moisture accumulating on grass and plants. Uh, the Vector Control Division is uh, really warning people about uh, your chances increasing for not only those annoying, itchy mosquito bites, but also the spread of West Nile virus. Mosquitoes can spread this virus to humans through their bites. And after deploying over 800 routine traps a week, Vector Control Manager John Townsend says they have found hundreds of mosquitoes that are positive for the virus and says this can increase the human infection rate. 2021 was the largest year for uh, West Nile cases, both mosquitoes and humans. We had uh, over 1,500 human cases or almost 1,500 human cases in Maricopa County. 2021 was a record-breaking year for human cases, as well as mosquitoes. They found over 700 positive mosquitoes that year, and they say that does correlate in regards to how the virus spreads. But uh, they do say as well that it can fluctuate every year. So 2022 was actually a low year. So with this added moisture that we've been seeing, they're really trying to limit that chance from happening. And there are many ways that we can do that ourselves, not only just having a really good bug repellent on us, but there is a backyard checklist that the department provides provides where it can help limit mosquitoes around there. And so we've talked about, you know, standing water is a big one. Mosquitoes love moisture. So another one that they talked about was mitigating water and maybe some bird feeders. Some people have bird feeders or bird houses like this one here in the three TV garden. Uh, water can be accumulated in some of these areas. So just making sure they're emptied out or wiped down. Bird feeders obviously is very open uh, to the environment. So uh, you can limit those areas because they're considered mosquito breeding sites. And so if you want to have a great pool day, uh, there are plenty of more things that you can do. And you can find that list on azfamily.com. There's also a list of great insect repellents that you can add to your family's outdoor activities. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys.